dear students in this video we are going to see in detail about the significant phenomenon in genetics called crossing over this is the plan of my presentation definition discovery meaning characteristics of crossing over types and mechanisms factors affecting crossing over and significance of this phenomenon called crossing over the crossing over is nothing but the interchange of chromosomal parts between non sister chromatids of a homologous pair of chromosome resulting in recombination of genes franz alfons jensen's who described the phenomenon of crossing over in the year 1909 he could observe cross like arrangements in meiosis and proposed the crossing over as a genetic process so crossing over or chromosomal crossing over is the exchange of genetic material between the homologous chromosomes that results in the recombinant chromosomes let us see the significant characteristics of crossing over crossing over occurs only between the non sister chromatids one chromatid from each of the two homologous chromosomes is involved in the crossing over crossing over leads to recombinations or new combinations between the linked genes the value of crossover or recombinant may vary from 0% to the 50% crossing over generally yields two recombinant types or crossover types and two parental types or non crossover types crossing over generally leads to exchange of equal segments or genes and recombination is always reciprocal let us see the stage at which the crossing over occur the meiotic crossing over takes place during the pachytean stage of the prophase of meiosis 1 pachytean stage is also known as recombination stage crossing over occurs when homologous chromosomes are in the four chromatid or tetrad stage in pachytean stage this is the structure of the pachytean stage where you see the synaptonemal complex tetrad formation and centromere with the centrosome with the centrioles types of crossing over the crossing over is mainly divided into two types namely the somatic or mitotic crossing over or and germinal or meiotic crossing over this can be further divided into two types namely equal crossing over and unequal crossing over let us see each of the category one by one somatic or mitotic crossing over this type of crossing over occurs in the somatic cells during mitosis it is a rare phenomenon and has no genetic significance example kurt stern has reported it in the fruit fly and potney carvo has noted it in the fungus aspergillus germinal or meiotic crossing over this type of crossing over takes place in the germinal cells during meiosis that produces gametes it is universal and has a great genetic significance kinds of germinal crossing over equal crossing over the segments exchanged between the chromosomes are of equal size it is further divided into three types according to the number of points at which it occurs namely single crossing over double crossing over and multiple crossing over single crossing over in this type of crossing over the chromatids break and reunite at only one point in the case of double crossing over during this type of crossover the chromatids break and reunite at two points in the same tetrad whereas in the case of multiple crossover chromatid break and reunite at many points in the tetrad 
it thus occurs very rarely the diagrams below here are the structures that illustrate in detail about the three categories of crossing over namely single double and crossing over unequal crossing over the segments exchange between chromatids are unequal so that one chromosome receives an extra gene and other gets one gene less let us see the mechanisms of crossing over one by one there are four mechanisms namely synapsis tetrad formation exchange of chromatid segments and terminalization let us see each of the category one by one number one synapsis in the zygotene or pairing stage of prophase one the homologous chromosome of each pair come together and line up side by side this pairing of homologous chromosome is called synapsis tetrad formation the two chromatids of chromosome are referred to as dyad a group of four homologous chromatids that means the two dyad of two synapsed homologous chromosome is known as tetrad the two chromatids of same chromosome are called sister chromatids the two chromatids one of the one chromosome and other of its homolog are termed as non sister chromatids synaptonemal complex a highly organized structure of filaments is formed between the paired homologous chromosome at the zygotene and paketine stage of meiosis 1 and the structure is called synaptonemal complex it helps in crossing over by keeping the homologous chromosome in closely paired state what you see here is the formation of synaptonemal complex the exchange of chromatid segments two non sister chromatid in a tetrad break at equivalent locations the broken ends transpose and join the respective broken ends of opposite chromatid this complete the process of crossing over the unchanged chromatids are called parental or non crossover filaments the changed chromatids are called recombinants homologous chromosomes come and lie side by side crossover happen between the non sister chromatids the exchange of dna also takes place between the two non sister chromatids breakage physical breakage of chromatids into segments occur transposition of a segments occur that leads to the reunion of the segments these are the stepwise exchange of chromatid segments that occur during crossing over between the two non sister chromatids let us see the process called terminalization completion of crossing over marks the end of paketine stage and beginning of diplotene stage synaptic forces end and the homologous chromosomes separate the points at which the separation does not occur is called chiasmata the chromatids separate progressively from the centromere towards the chiasma which moves like a zipper towards the end of tetrad the slipping of chiasmata towards the end of the bivalent chromosome is called terminalization this is how the terminalization process occur where the bivalent tetrad begins to separate and becomes a single filament the recombinant pairs rejoin and form a new recombinant variety while the unpaired non parental chromatid threads separate and move away there are so many factors that affect the phenomenon called crossing over maternal age effect temperature nutrition and chemical effect chromosome effect centromere effect mutation effect and sex of the organism affect the crossing over on a larger scale significance of crossing over crossing over has helps in establishing the concept of linear arrangement of genes 
the frequency of crossing over helps in mapping of the chromosomes that determines the location of genes on the chromosome it is an important factor in the case of a sexual reproduction this increases the variation which is vital for the evolution it helps in plant breeding also so in this in this presentation i hope i have enlightened you on the topic crossing over and some of the detailing regarding the process called crossing over thank you all for your patient listening